Hello everyone. Did you know that you can use the Sony Creators app to tether your Sony cameras wirelessly to your phone or iPad? Well, you can and it's free and it works really well. I'm going to show you how. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to download the Sony Creators app on your phone or iPad. So when you do that, you've got to connect your camera to it. It's pretty straightforward. It does tell you instructions what to do, um, but you download it. Then on your phone, you open your phone up, you go to the network setting, and then it's control phone and smartphone app, I think. Yeah, smartphone connection. Then it'll come up with a barcode or something telling you to connect uh, to that. So then you just open the app up. It should see your phone because you've paired your phone to Bluetooth. Um, you select your phone, that's what I'm doing. So 74, and then you connect to it. I can see there's my phone there. So connect to my phone. One, two, you wait for a second, you press pair to pair, pair it to Bluetooth, and there you go, five gigahertz is the fastest I've found, and then you press remote shooting, and then you should see your camera come up. There you go, look at that, so there it is. Um, that's working fine, so that's on your phone. Um, I prefer my iPad, so what I do with my iPad when I'm on shoot, so I can hold it and it gives me a, a, a big view of what I'm doing, and it also shows me um, I can my clients can see what images are coming up, so that's why I tend to feel really handy. So on the iPad, again, I've already connected it, so just press remote shoot, connect uh, through Wi-Fi. You can use the cable if you want to. Um, so it takes a few seconds to load up here. So when it does, there it is. It's just gonna find the network there. There it is, boom, so we're in, right, we can see it now, so all good. I just have it on the lowest res, so it's just showing two meg files, so they come really quick. I only need this preview, I'm not saving them to the device, so I just put it that way. Then I go into settings here, and I have it onto full screen mode. Um, and what happens then is you can set it up, so I just have it, so when the images come up, they stay up, it doesn't go back to live view. I don't, I don't need it to be on live view. I want it to be like the photos that I'm taking are the ones that are coming on screen. You can change the settings to, to whatever you want, but I just have it so as soon as I'm shooting, the pictures come straight up onto the screen, and it's really cool, and it's free, and I use it all the time, and it works really well, so you don't need to buy capture one. I mean, you can if you want to do adjustments. This is just basically for monitoring what I'm doing and my clients can see what I'm doing and it, it works perfect for me. I love it. I use it all the time. So then another good thing about it, which also is amazing. So Sony has this monitor and control app for uh, cameras such as the FX3, FX30, 7S3. Um, but it doesn't work with the 7.4 and stuff like that. Um, so with this, you can monitor your video as well, and it's pretty quick. So you can use your phone as a monitor to record your video. So you can't, I mean, you can change most of the settings. You can't change picture profiles or a few other limitations, but if you just want to monitor what you're doing, this is it's great as well. It works really well as well. So very happy with that too. It took me ages. I was trying to find out, I was like, should I use Capture One? That works wirelessly, but then you have to buy it. And I never use Capture One, and I more used Lightroom Classic. And then I was like, okay, so Lightroom Classic has just recently, in the last couple of months, been able to um, tether to Sony cameras, which is great. But you have to use a cable, I think, and you have to use your laptop. It doesn't work with Lightroom, the normal Lightroom, on your iPad, which is annoying. So I can't use that and I can't use Capture One. So this, I was like, it's perfect and it's free and it works great. So yeah, little tip for you there. Hope you find it helpful as I did. I'm Owen Juice. I'm a full-time freelance fashion photographer from near Liverpool in the UK. Um, hope you like this video. If you do, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.